For 12 seasons, we followed the lives of the Pritchett family. Hilarious and heartwarming, it was genuinely one of the funniest shows made in recent times. But last year, the door closed on the set and we said goodbye to a cast that had grown up before our eyes. So short of watching the entire series all over again, and admittedly I have actually done that, it's time to find some shows to fill the void left by Modern Family. First up is Life in Pieces, the brilliantly sharp comedy about the short family. John and Joan are the parents and they have three grown-up children, Greg, Heather and Matt. Very cleverly, the creators of the show uses the family name Short and breaks each episode into four shorts so that each character has their own perspective on the storyline. Hence the tagline, one big family, four short stories. So expect plenty of sibling rivalry, family antics and razor sharp wit over the four seasons that aired. Beer? You drink it. Dad, what are you doing? Come on, drink a drink. Awesome. Tastes like water. That's because it is water. Now, which one of you replaced it? Created by Adam Goldberg, the show was based on his actual life, complete with a younger version of himself. Everything about the show is spot on. So if you grew up in the 80s, you will love this nostalgic trip down memory lane. So pack your bags so I can unpack them and then repack them again properly. Because the Goldbergs are going on vacation. Oh, I love you now. Ah, that's right. Embrace your mama. I learned not to hug until I hear all of the details. It'll be just like the Griswolds. We're going to see America. This America? I've seen it. It's all corn. Starring Anthony Anderson and the fabulous Tracy Ellis Ross as Dre and Rainbow, Blackish follows the Johnson family with all the ups and downs that come with raising four children. Dre is a successful marketing exec and Rainbow is an accomplished surgeon, but balancing a family, two careers and several personal and socio-political issues is no mean feat. Thankfully, Blackish does it all expertly, bringing the highs as well as the lows in every episode. Since Dad died, it's like, the hatred in my heart was buried with him in that little coffee can. Oh. Coffee can? No! At least spring for a Costco coffin! I love you, Rick Dad! Get in here. Oh. Yes! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Ditto, new pop. I finally know what it feels like to be loved. Mm. Permission to hug you, sir? You don't need permission, son. Oh. Oh. Junior? I'm so glad my dad died. What? Me too. Yeah. Personally, this is one of my all-time favorite comedies. Created and starring father and son duo Eugene and Dan Levy, this is the story of a very wealthy and completely out of touch family who find themselves utterly broke. With nowhere else to go, the Rose family must head to a small town called Schitt's Creek, which they once bought as a joke. Sharing two motel rooms, the family must come to terms with their new reality and the town's inhabitants as well as each other. Rose, there are people here from the government. <laughs> Baby, it's crazy. People are just like taking our stuff. Leave your finances to me, said son of a bitch. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around what kind of a sick person wants to get paid to destroy another person's life. Destroy another person's life. There is a very small amount set aside for you and one asset the government has allowed you to retain. The kids. The children are dependents, Moira. Help me with the doors. No, I can't. I just got out of the shower. I need help with the doors. He help oh my God. him with the doors. You help him with the doors. No! David, could you help me with the doors? It's air drying. Pick up a hammer and nail this coffin shut. Where would we be without Joel McHale and his merry band of college misfits? Community is the epitome of character-driven comedy and centers around a group of students who all attend the same community college. Blending a group of people who ordinarily would never be friends, Community was created by Dan Harmon based on his own experiences and features an incredible ensemble cast that includes Joel McHale, Gillian Jacobs, Danny Pudi, Yvette Nicole Brown, Alison Brie, Donald Glover, Ken Jeong, Chevy Chase and Jim Rash. Woo! Its cult following is well deserved as this is as witty and sharp as comedies come. If you haven't seen it, you are missing a treat. Bar has suspended my license. Uh, they found out my college degree was less than legitimate. Well, I thought you had a bachelor's from Columbia. And now I have to get one from America. Ooh. Eleanor Shellstrop wakes to find herself in a waiting room. After some quick introductions to Michael, it soon becomes apparent that Eleanor has died and gone to the good place. The problem is that based on her actions in life, Eleanor knows she really should not be in the good place. You sure you want to hear? He was struck by a truck advertising an erectile dysfunction pill called Engorgulate. 
but rather than fess up, she enlists the help of Chidi, a moral philosopher to help teach her how to be good. He royally forked up. Why can't I say fork? If you're trying to curse, you can't hear. That's bullshit. Tell me one good thing that you did on Earth. Do you have a second to talk about the environment? Do you have a second to eat my farts? Oh. I can't risk going to the bad place. Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. We'll ask Janet. Hey, Janet. Hi there. Ah. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? I can only play you a brief audio clip of what is happening there right now. Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Hot on the heels of Everybody Loves Raymond, Patricia Heaton signed on as the matriarch of the Heck family in the middle. Equally as funny, the show revolves around a working class family who live in Orson, Indiana. With three children, a crappy job she hates and a serious lack of money, Frankie Heck is a woman a lot of people can relate to. The show is understated, great fun and with nine seasons is perfect to binge on. TV and we're gonna watch what we want to watch. Well, you mean like after our show is over? <laughs> no, I mean like right now. So we're doing picture in picture? We call a big picture. No, you do not get a picture. You are out of the picture. Well, we, but, <sighs> uh, but what, are, what are we supposed to do? We'll be bored. We don't care. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Set in Toronto, the show brilliantly navigates the struggles of not only being an immigrant, but also being the children of immigrants. With two grown kids in Jung and Janet, the Kims struggle when their culture and expectations contrast with each other's. With four seasons out, the good news for fans is that two more have been commissioned. So watch this space for more Kim family fun. If someone buys a ravioli and gets sick, you could get sued. That would be bad. Nah, you don't know what you're talking. Be careful, Mr. Kim. In restaurant business, you serve one bad dumpling, you get lawsuit up the wazoo. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. Really? Because I literally just said the same thing. Janet. God give to you two ear and one mouse. Listen two more times, then you're talking. But I'm the one who said Stop. that- Stop! Listen. Listen. And that, dear viewers, wraps up our eight great shows like Modern Family. As we well know, families come in all shapes and sizes, and these shows are no different. So from the laugh out loud funny to the more subtle heartwarming ones, there's definitely going to be a show perfect for you. Don't forget to comment if you think we've forgotten any gems and we might even include them in our next video. And as always, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe.